I decided to make a Lamajun style flatbread. Lamajun is often called the Turkish pizza. It is essentially a flatbread with a ground meat topping. Usually this is street food. They come rolled up, they come in a boat shape. I'm gonna just make little ones and I'm using a pre-made pizza dough I got from Trader Joe's. We're gonna need ground beef. I thawed that up, that's why it's a little bit gray. We need parsley chopped fine. We need onions chopped fine, some garlic, uh, tomato paste, salt, pepper. Usually this kind of flat bread is uh, baked in the oven. And then before you eat it, you top it with uh, lime juice or lemon juice and with onions and some parsley. Since not everyone is a fan of raw onions that you would throw on there, I'm actually making a quick pickle out of these and I'll quickly show you how that works. So I chopped up my onions, a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna add some vinegar and I'm just gonna add a few drops of water so that everything is submerged. You know what, we could add a little bit of sugar. I need somebody who's had a little less caffeine this morning, Doc, translate. It's just like half a teaspoon. Now set this aside and forget about it until you need it. For the meat topping, uh, we need the ground beef, tomato paste, then I'm gonna add the parsley, the garlic and the onions. Now some salt. This all goes really, really quick. The problem on a dish like this is usually the pizza dough or the flatbread. And since you can get a ready-made pizza dough at the grocery store, that's an easy one. Okay, some salt, some pepper. And what I like to do is add some olive oil. Extra virgin, of course. And the easiest way to mix this is by using a glove and mixing it by hand. If the people who eat this can handle heat, adding some pepper flakes, red pepper flakes is a good idea. And, and there's the topping for the flatbread. I've prepped this a little, there's a little bit of flour and of course the pizza dough out of the bag. So what we're gonna do is put a little bit of flour down and I'm gonna make four or five pieces. So I'm just gonna press this off. See, it's a little bit sticky. That's what we got flour for. Okay, this looks like a good size. Guess it's gonna be six of them. So I'm just gonna roll these out. And you see they will zip back together. So what you gotta do is you powder them a little with flour, put them aside. They will relax, the gluten will relax and in a couple of minutes you can make them bigger and thinner. Point here is you want this thin. You can use a decent amount of flour here to make this non-stick because it doesn't matter for the end result whether you used extra flour. So make it easy on yourself. I'm gonna let these guys rest on the counter here for just a few minutes. And then we're gonna top them and pop them into, the, into a 500 degree oven. I do have a pizza stone in my oven, so I'm not gonna put these on a sheet but feel free to put them on a baking sheet with one of these baking mats on top. And these have nicely relaxed. See, they are stretchable now. They're quite stretchable. This is about as see-through as I want this to be. And then you just go ahead and put a thin layer of the topping on. I'm probably gonna do like three at a time. These can be eaten cold which is usually the way they are actually eaten. As you can see, this is not rocket science and it goes fairly quickly. So I'm gonna pop these three into the oven and do the other three right away. Okay, here's the first batch out of the oven. This is what those guys look like. To serve it, you simply sprinkle some of your uh, quick pickled onions, if you like some chopped parsley and maybe a spritz of lemon juice. And there you have it, a nice little snack. If you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.